In a previous video, we've introduced Bessel's differential equation, and then we just said, okay, the solutions are the Bessel functions of the first kind, j nu of x. But now we would like to know what these functions actually look like. So one thing we could do is we could, for example, propose a series expansion of these special functions with unknown uh, coefficients, and then substitute that series expansion into the differential equation do some complicated calculations, and then hopefully figure out what the expansion coefficients are. So that way, we end up with a series expansion for our Bessel functions, and we at least know what this function uh, looks like. We can calculate it numerically. That's one approach. But here, we're not going to take that approach. We're going to use a completely different uh, method. And in fact, we're going to completely forget about the differential equation and just redefine the Bessel functions in a completely new way. And later on, we will see that the two definitions are in fact equivalent, at least only limited to the case where we're working with integer orders of the, the Bessel function. But because that's the most common use case anyhow, we're not going to worry too much about that, uh, that limitation. So how are we going to define the Bessel functions in an alternative way? Well, we're going to introduce a new function, a so-called generating function, which is a function of x and t. And that function is going to be exponential x over 2 t minus 1 over t. So now we have a function of x and t. One thing we could do is, just for fun, expand this function in a Laurent series. A Laurent series with powers of t, so t to the power of n, n going from minus infinity to plus infinity. We will have negative powers of t here because of this, uh, this singularity over here. And we will have a set of expansion coefficients, but since our function also depends on x, these expansion coefficients, they will actually be a function of, uh, of x. Now, rather than calling these expansion coefficients a sub n of x, what we're going to do is we're going to define these expansion coefficients as our Bessel functions. So this is actually j n of x. So here we have an alternative definition for Bessel functions of integer order. Namely, they are the expansion coefficients in the Laurent series of this particular generating function. You might say, what the hell is going on here? I mean, where does this function uh, come from? This seems to fall straight out of the sky. Is there any logic behind this? Well, actually, there is, because there's a way that you can derive this particular form based on the differential equation and some assumptions. So it doesn't really fall out of the sky. But for our intents and purposes, for the time being, let's just pretend that this falls out of the sky. Um, and let's also be aware of the fact that this, this t, for example, does not mean time. It's a purely mathematical trick that we have here to define Bessel functions in terms of this particular generating function over here. But what we will see later on is that this will give us an alternative way of coming up with a series expansion for the Bessel function of the first kind. But let's do that in the next video.